Welcome everyone to Rare World Coins. Hopefully I'm providing you with some useful, valuable information uh, on collecting world coins and US coins. And as I emphasized before, you know, be sure that you have the three things I always like to be sure to, that the coin has, which is appeal, scarcity, and demand. Uh, what we have here today, we have is a coin from New Zealand. This is a 1942 Florin. Uh, this is graded NNC64. Anytime you have a certified coins, be sure you're buying the coin and not the slab. So be familiar with the coin as far as grading because you have some coins that are not as reliable as others. If it was PCGS and NGC, they, they, they do guarantee their grading. As far as the others, basically it's an opinion-based grading system for them. So sometimes they are accurate, sometimes they are not. So be familiar with the coin, you're buying the coin and not the slab. Uh, as we have here today is a New Zealand 1942 Florin. This is a very popular year. This has the lowest mintage for the coin or the second lowest mintage for the coin. Uh, a lot of these coins were circulated and melted down. So finding one in uncirculated or better definitely is going to be a nice uh, coin for your collection. We can look at closer on the coin. Uh, coin is very nice. It's got nice full luster. High points of the coin is above the ear, the hair. And of course, you want to be sure that the face is exceptionally clean of contact marks. Uh, fields are very nice, even luster. And of course, avoid coins that are very unappealing, very spotty or toning, heavily bag marked. Those are the coins that you want to avoid. So this one here is exceptionally very nice, nice luster. So this is a pretty nice high-end coin. Being a scarce coin, definitely you'll have a lot of collectors looking for this particular coin. So this is what you want to get on these nice florin from New Zealand. And on the reverse, you have the nice popular Kiwi. Definitely, again, full luster. Definitely what you're looking for is the hair detail uh, on the legs on the body here, on the neck. These are the areas that you look for, but these are the highest point here. This is the first area that you will see wear on the coin. Sometimes there are weekly strike, so be familiar with the coin because each date has their own uh, uh, issues as far as, or varieties as far as strike. Some have weak strikes, some are fully struck, so be sure that you know the coin. Again, this coin here has nice, even luster throughout. A few contact points here, but aside from that, very nice luster, nice even coin, nice detail on the Kiwi. So very popular date. And of course, you know, uh, low mintage for the 1942. Go back to the overs. Again, this is the issue where you want to look for appeal. This coin here has very nice appeal. Low mintage, many circulated, many melted down. So finding one in high grade uh, tends to be difficult. So if you come across a nice MS60 or better, definitely something that maybe you want to consider adding to your collection. If it's uh, graded other than from PCGS or NGC, uh, be sure that you are buying the coin and not the slab. Be familiar with grading these coins. You're looking for, again, nice appeal. Be sure that uh, you have full luster. Be sure that the detail there is on the hair, and on, uh, on the head are fully defined. The face is nice. You have a nice, decent eyebrow and no distracting bag marks or toning. Definitely something that you want to consider when you have all that detail information on that particular coin. Hopefully this information and video will help you out. Uh, if you decide to collect coins from New Zealand, definitely just having those things, definitely you will have a nice collection. I think this the, scare, the rare date is the 1936 Florin which I do have, 
and I will show that to you. And hopefully you'll have an idea of what you're looking for as on rare coins. But this one here is a very nice scarcer coin, a very nice addition to your collection. And hopefully this information is useful to you along with the video. And if you like that, please give me a thumbs up, uh, share my information and subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos to put out in the near future. Till next time, thank you very much.